Hi guys, welcome back to my channel today. I am doing this Halloween inspired makeup tutorial for you guys. This isn't a scary fancy dress Halloween tutorial. I want to do colours that are inspired by Halloween, the colours that you see around Halloween in October and this is the look that I came up with. This will be a voiceover because I'm highly invested in my new Netflix series that I am just starting to watch. I'm on like my fourth episode and I cannot get enough. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look then please keep watching. So starting off with this matte black shade from The Revolution, now that's what I call 80s makeup palette. I'm just going to stamp that along in my crease and outer corner just to give my eyeball some shape. Then going into this matte green shade, I'm just going to use small circular motions. I'm just going to buff that green into the black shade. So we have a gradient, we have a transition, but then I will be following that with the black shade again, just to have a more seamless blend. So we don't have a lot, harsh line between the green and the black. Following that, I'm going to go into this light base shade and I'm going to blend that into the green just to blend out and give that green a more of a seamless transition as well and just to lighten it a bit. Now for concealer, I'm going to go into the Collection Last Perfection Concealer and I'm going to cut my crease out. If you have hooded eyes, I would recommend putting your concealer on your lid and then blinking a few times and that will transfer and just colour in basically. Now going back into that black shade, I'm now just going to stamp that along the crease line between the concealer and the eyeshadow just for a blend so there's not a harsh line there either. And now I'm going to go into this matte purple shade, I'm going to do the exact same. I'm just going to stamp that along the line where it meets the black shade. I'm just going to stamp it on the inner, inner portion, the middle portion of my lid. And then I'm going to go back and forth in those two colours to get a blend so there's not a harsh line between the purple and the black. Going into this burgundy red shade, I'm now going to do the exact same. I'm going to stamp it on my inner corner first and then I will go back and forth into the purple and the red shades to get a seamless blend there as well. Because again, I don't want harsh lines while blending these colours into each other. Time for lashes. I'm going to use the Ilior Heartbreaker Lashes, not that you can see because I'm out of focus. <laughs> but going back into the matte black shade, I'm just going to take that along my lower lash line so it connects to my lid. And then I will be going in with the same green shade and blending that out into the black. And then I will also be using the same beige shade to blend that green out also so everything connects and matches our crease. Next, I'm going to go into the NYX Liquid Suede uh, lipstick. I'm going to use this as an eyeliner. Yes, you can do that. And I feel like this orange is just a pop, a pizzazz, and it just reminds me of pumpkins. It's Halloween, right? It works. And then for mascara, I'm going to go into the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and I'm just going to cut my lower lash line and my faucies. And then going into the Thank God It's Thursday palette from Laura Geller, I'm just going to pick up the highlight shade and stick that in my inner corner and below my brow. For white line, I'm going to go into the next white liner and I'm just going to apply that where we cut our crease. If you're not confident, use very small, small strokes and take your time. For the face, I don't know why it's all grainy now, I don't know why, but this is the Revolution Pore Blur Primer. I'm just going to smooth out and pore fill my face so we have a more flawless, seamless canvas. And then I'm going to go into the Conceal and Define Revolution Foundation. I love this foundation so freaking much. And this Tarte brush is like honestly my favourite foundation brush ever. But I'm just going to buff that into my skin. This is in the shade Porcelain because I'm pale as fuck. 
and it's Halloween so it's fitting. And then I'm going to go back into the same collection concealer and I'm just going to conceal and essentially highlight the portions of my face that I normally apply this to. Under eyes, chin, top part of my lip, uh, bridge of my nose and forehead. And using that same brush I'm just going to buff it all out. For contour, I'm going to go into this face shaping palette by Tarte. I'm going to pick up the terracotta shade and a grey toned brown just to stick that in the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, nose, and I cannot forget my jawline and my double chins. For highlight, I'm going to go into this Revolution Skin Finish. This is a very subtle highlight, but I think it's just beautiful on the skin. It's so cute. Subtle, but cute. For blush, I'm going to go into the Laura Geller blush. I wasn't quite sure if I wanted blush for this, but we're going with it. It's a nice shimmery pink. It's cute. And I'm going to go back into that same liquid suede lipstick that we used for the eyeliner. Yes, it's very, very bright. And I'm just going to apply that to my lips. And then this look is done. And this is the finished look. I just wanted to sit down and do a tutorial that was inspired by Halloween, by all the colours that you see around Halloween, oranges, blacks, purples, reds, and just kind of stick it to my face. Everything that I've used will be listed down below for you guys as always. If you like this video, then please click the thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. And make sure to hit the bell button to be notified when I upload, which is every Tuesday. Uh, I think that's all I need to say to say. You can probably hear the neighbour's dogs barking because they bark all the time. But I hope you have a good day around the world and I will see you in the next one. Bye!